What's going on guys? As you can see, back in Pennsylvania right now, sort of just to be with my, my mom, be around my dad, just be with family. Um, because if you follow Nick's YouTube channel, I know he's put out some videos. Instagram, I think I put some stuff out on Instagram as well. My mom's just battling cancer right now. So tomorrow I'll go with her to, she's starting chemo back up in New York. So I'll drive with her. So sort of just wanted to be here the next couple weeks. Today it's kind of just a more laid back day, do some chores around the house. But I do definitely miss it here quite a bit a lot, especially in the springtime. You see how green it is behind me. It's beautiful. So we'll get this day started, try to get some stuff done. I'm still working from home and doing some you know, odds and ads and just wholesale, customer service, stuff like that. But uh, just a large majority of what I'll do is probably just try to help out around the house the next couple weeks. So this is Bandit, the 12 year old pup. Still going strong. He's the man. Okay, so before I hit the gym, I'm gonna do some legs now, I can squat again. Gotta show you the old operations, the original operations since the company started in 2012. So 2012 to 2015, BPN ran upstairs, up here in this room. So the room right above the garage had the packaging and shipping and everything else that went on with operations and everything like that. So we had the, the packing table right over here. I think we had a second one of those. And then the printer. So we never used label printers. We actually used like paper, print out the paper on a label, cut it, and then have to tape the, the paper label on the box. So the process took a while. It probably took us an hour sometimes to do like eight orders. Now we can do 30 orders in an hour. So just shows kind of how slow the processing thing and just the operations were. But we really didn't need super quick, you know, processing, anything like that, because we were, might have been getting at that point 10 orders a day. When it started ramping up, I think we got to, to 20 to 25 orders a day before we moved the company to Texas in 2016. So yeah, I remember after finishing college, working my first job and I would go to the job during the day. I think my dad would do some of the orders here at night. And then when I came home from that job at night, I would process the orders and it would be like midnight. So then we drop them all off at the post office the next morning. But definitely brings back memories, sort of just working in here because it seemed so much bigger. We didn't have this bed. We just had all the product, literally all the product was in here too. So I think at the time we had flight and intraflight and maybe creatine too. And pretty much everything just sat along these walls. All the boxes didn't have the pallets in here but everything fit. We must've been ordering like 300 units of a SKU at the time. Now we order up to 5,000, which is crazy. So that's, that's where it all started right in here. And you can see all the original products are up here too. So we'll check those out. So I've done this before with the flight, showed the evolution of flight, but I've never done it with intraflight. So I'll do it with the flight again, just because we've added more and new SKU. So it's, I think it's on the sixth version right now. And then intraflight's on its fifth version. So Let's check these out. So the original intraflight, this is what it looked like. Next version, version two, that was probably 2013, you know, 2014, 2015, up to 2016. I think we had this one for a while. And then the current one. And then right behind it is the flight. You just see how much of the labels and everything, the branding has changed, it's crazy. This is the original flight, so the first ever product we don't even have this flavor anymore punch berry flight completely different and everything next one version two of flight this is orange just had one flavor third version probably would have been 2015 this one up to 2016 and then the current one and then this was actually, I think, Nick brought this out with the first flight too. It was a fat burner CQ6. So these were the first two ever products. All right, so workout is complete. I was gonna show my squats, but nothing new. Plus it was pretty packed in there. So 
you forget how kind of weird and awkward it is when you're trying to film in a public gym when it's especially full. I like doing it when it's there's not too many people, but thinking back on it, the gym I used to go to around this area, it would be packed and I'd have like the tripod set up and people had to walk all around it and stuff. Looking back now, it was probably a little bit of a D-bag for doing that, but try to, uh, it's just a lot different compared to when you have your own gym and stuff, but good gym here. Went to Paramount today in Palmyra, which is my hometown, but squats, I did 315 for two reps and then each set, I just kept doing more reps. So two reps, three reps, four reps, up to 10 reps. So squats are back, strength is back, feeling good. So for lunch, I'm playing chef this week. So one of the only things I can make is pork cutlets. So Val taught me this. I pretty much just get the thin sliced pork at the store, wash it, then dip it in egg, then the breadcrumbs, progresso, breadcrumbs, Italian style. This is the only thing that might not be so healthy on this one. Um, and then just put it on the baking sheet and then throw it in the oven. Before when I was, wasn't watching calories or anything like that, I was frying them on the stove in vegetable oil, oil which would add tons of fat. So this is gonna be a little bit healthier when you bake it. The breadcrumbs are gonna be a little bit heavier in carbs and fats and things like that, but still really good. And then also gonna make some rice. We do not have a rice cooker here, so this is gonna be the first time that I have to make rice on the stove, so we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, I'm looking at the... Okay, so lunch is served. We got two pork cutlets, some rice, so the rice actually turned out well, first time making it on the stove, and then spinach and tomatoes, use Pam for the stove. I'll just put the macros on top. I'm just estimating this week. Okay, we're gonna go run my two mile course here. It's real flat, but it's easy. Go to uh, Ford Street and back. You gonna run with the camera? Yeah. All right, so two mile run, we're running together. I don't think we've run together since I don't need, I can't even, don't even know if we've ever run together, but we're going to do two miles. We actually run pretty similar distances, so that's why I'm trying to get him to do a half marathon in the Hershey one. I keep forgetting if it's October or September, but I'm going to run with this camera. It's going to be a pain. I don't have a GoPro. Okay, so the thing about running in central Pennsylvania, the northeast gets super humid. So some days when it was raining two days ago, the easiest run I probably ever had yesterday and today, the humidity is kicked on. So it is it is got tough. You're sucking the whole time, even if it's like a mile. It's pretty humid. Finishing up. Didn't film that last half. This is getting tough. So we went a lot further than what I expected. So we just finished that run up with my dad just a little bit ago. Like I said, I think that was our first time ever running together, but I think he needs to post a little bit more on Instagram, cater to kind of the older age group, 50s, 60s, get them working out a little bit more because he's upper 50s now, but he's just working out like a machine still, staying consistent. So. I think it'd be cool if he could post a little bit more. I'll leave his Instagram in the bio and then I'll try to put it up here as well. So we'll get him to a thousand followers. But just wanted to come check this out. Like I said, how amazing it is, this backyard. Um, this is one thing I definitely took for granted growing up. I thought probably everyone when I was a kid had just cool scenic views like this. And this is just something that I love. Whenever I come back here, it's so just like peaceful and calm. Farmer right right back there is one of my brother's best friends actually so it's kind of just cool like looking out here they'll grow grow and rotate corn barley wheat soybean and i just love coming back each time especially in the springtime when they're growing something it's just awesome to see these views so it's gonna wrap this video up we head to new york in the morning 6 a.m so should be a long day tomorrow but definitely gonna bring the the camera back out within the next couple days get some more vlogs out here so I'm here for two weeks, so I will see you guys again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one.